It's a Peeps X Pepsi collaboration. Artificial marshmallow flavored Pepsi. If I kept this, this would probably be worth, I would guess maybe a hundred dollars by the end of the year. Oh, that was painful in so many different ways. Let's do it like we do in chemistry. So sweet and artificial, but not terrible. It's weird. So let's give it a try. Okay. The packaging is pretty cool. It's got the peeps on here and the Pepsi logo. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, that does not smell like it should exist. That is straight up sugar. That is so sweet. That tastes like peeps, like times a hundred. It's marshmallow peeps specifically flavor. They set out to do something and they did exactly that. It's just, I don't know if I like this. This leaves an aftertaste, kind of like you just took a bite of a Bath & Body Works candle. Was this worth opening it? No, this is fine. I'm just gonna enjoy it. If I asked you to guess the collaboration of this next item, this is a collaboration with Lay's, you would never guess this. You just would never guess it because it doesn't make any sense. This is a Lay's X Funyuns collaboration. What? You expect two different products to collaborate, not two types of potato chips. I guess the flavor of Funyuns in the shape of Lay's. That's what I'm expecting, but I've never tried this. I really like the design of it. I feel like it kind of takes the Funyuns like collar and puts it into the traditional Lay's design. And in the back it says, who said you needed rings to have fun? Get the flavor of Funyun rings now in Lay's. I want to open this and I want to expect the breath of Funyuns. Oh, that was a bit aggressive. <laughs> that just smells like lace. Let's get some out. So this is what they look like. I mean, nothing too crazy. They just look like normal potato chips. So give it a try. That is so weird. It's the shape of a potato chip from Lay's, but tastes exactly like Funyuns. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Do I like it? Do I love it? I kind of love it. This whole video I'm thinking, if it was worth opening this, then resell this on eBay. It's exactly what you expected. This is physically painful. Like my fingers don't want to open this because this is quite a recent one that I just know it's going to increase in price. This is a collaboration between Peeps and Kellogg's. This is Peeps marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows artificially flavored. I feel like they're just repeating words, like we get it. With Peeps chick and bunny shaped marshmallows. But I'm gonna open it. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I honestly, I think my favorite thing about these collaborations, it's two marketing teams working in one product. They fully go all out. So this is like me going to a candy store. I literally went to a candy store. Also, this looks like something that would be on a shelf of a supermarket in Toy Story 2. Peeps goes all out with these collaborations. I'm afraid every time I see Peeps comes up with a new product. Wait a damn minute. I was scammed. How much did I pay for this? These are just Fruit Loops. Let me find out how much I paid for this. This cost me $15. This cost $15. Actually, that's just the price of cereal these days. So let's see, was I actually scammed? I'm not making this up, guys. Do you see? There's just Fruit Loops. On the image, this is not what it seems like you're gonna get. Do you see the difference, right? Like, I'm not crazy. This makes it look like it's gonna be so much fun, so many marshmallows. This, I literally can't see a single marshmallow in this. It smells like Fruit Loops with a hint of marshmallows, maybe. So most of it is literally, like that doesn't even look like Peeps. This is more like a Peeps Fruit Loop collaboration when Fruit Loops did 80% of the homework. This is me separating all the Peeps from it, which by the way, are ridiculously small. Peep, peep. Peep, my dishwasher at 3 a.m. This is the amount of random Fruit Loop cereals, and this is the amount of peeps that comes with it. <laughs> this is a straight up scam. I cannot believe I paid $15 for this. And like some people are gonna pay a lot more because this is gonna be resold and resold. Does this taste like Fruit Loops or peeps on this side? It tastes like Lucky Charms. <laughs> this is no peeps flavor. These, on the other hand, the marshmallow bits, that does not taste like peeps. None of them. And by the way, all the seasoning seems to be stuck in the bottom. Overall, this is pretty terrible. We said we would and we're gonna try it. 
I don't know if this is like a fake product because this happens a lot with these and someone just made this for me or something. I don't know. Man, am I disappointed. Let me make sure we got a good variety in here. Straight up sugar, just sugar. It does not taste like peeps. It's not a particularly enjoyable cereal. This is a bottom tier cereal as it is, and you literally are getting no peeps flavor. So if you're peeps biggest fan, just don't. Stay home, don't go to Walmart. This is a pretty terrible collaboration. <sighs> the disappointment is real. This is a Pringles Wendy's collaboration, specifically the Baconator Burger. <laughs> This one was expensive, because this is not on sale anymore. Let me find out the price for this one. This one costs $20, and I just know that with time, this is gonna keep increasing. It kinda just looks like something that you'd find on like the Wendy's website. It's got that fast food kind of thing. It's got a picture of the Baconator, which honestly, it's a great burger. It's a square burger. So let's see what it's giving. I'm so scared of buying things from eBay. I'm like, did someone super glue this after licking every single fry? Possible. Interesting. They're not too broken considering the fact that they were probably shipped from Ohio. It smells exactly like a Baconator. The toastiness of the burger, the ketchup, melted cheese, and strangely enough, like freshly greasy bacon. I was about to say this is photorealistic, but this is smellolistic. This is very broken because we bought this on eBay. We're lucky that we even managed to find some of this. This is a very rare item. This is the reality on buying something from eBay. I need to do the lick test. I always do this with the Pringles. It just went into a crunch. These are so strong, so flavorful, so delicious. It tastes exactly like a cheeseburger. Oh, <laughs> I'm crunching up things with excitement. It tastes like two burgers with bacon in it. It is incredible. It's literally like eating a Wendy's Baconator with a texture of Pringles. There's no other way to describe this. It is perfect. They capture this times a million. I love it. Wow, it is very salty. So definitely not for the faint hearted. And by that, I mean people with diabetes. You probably have seen the endless collaborations of Flaming Hot Cheetos that exist at the supermarket, but not this one. This is Mountain Dew Flaming Hot flavor. As a side note, it contains 0% juice. And what is it made of? You know what? Don't ask the questions. You don't want to know the answers to. This is a wild packaging. It looks like this is going to be spicy. So it says Mountain Dew Flaming Hot and they use the official Cheetos Flaming Hot logo. The only description is with a blast of heat and citrus flavor with other natural flavors. I don't really understand what that means. It smells like candy. It doesn't smell like flaming hot anything. Please let it be red or orange or whatever color this is. I forgot I'm colorblind. Now. Wait, it's kind of like a flaming hot color. Visually, it's giving. It smells nice, so let's give it a try. It's terrible. Oh, that is spicy. Spicy juice. Wait, no, because it contains 0% juice. I'm sure they're gonna be mad that I'm gonna say this, but it literally tastes like carrot juice with a hint of ginger and sparkling water. That's literally what it tastes like. You do not need to go and spend $30 to get this on eBay. Just buy some carrot juice, ginger powder, add it to it, and you're good to go. The aftertaste is real spicy. Definitely nothing to be running to Walmart for, I promise you overpriced carrot juice. Have we developed too far as society or have we not developed enough? This is a Pop-Tarts Ego collaboration. Why not? <laughs> Just why not? I guess two breakfast items. Uh, I see it. I kind of see it. They were like, we should. Let's do it. This is like when my anxiety collaborates with my depression. Nothing good can come out of it. This is supposed to be frosted maple flavor. And honestly, I like the branding. They went for like the classic yellow box of Eggos, but then also the classic Pop-Tarts around it. I cannot remember the last time I had a Pop-Tart. I think it might've been never. Wait, it comes with two? I've definitely never had a Pop-Tart. So what a great time to have one. This is an Eggo flavored Pop-Tart. Wait, because he reminds me exactly of Eggos. Would you put this in the toaster? I honestly have never cooked one. Is there instructions? Fully baked and ready to eat. Toast on lowest setting. Okay, so I'm going to toast this one because I want to see what it looks like. And I'm going to eat this one raw. And meanwhile, we're going to dissect. Mm, interesting. It's like brown sugar on the inside. Honestly, I think this is a successful collaboration. That tastes like Eggos, that is so weird. That tastes like waffles, Eggos specifically. Brown sugar, 
This is really weird. They 100% succeeded at what they were doing. I like it. So I toast their Pop-Tart on the lowest setting, according to the instructions. It didn't melt on the outside, but I'm assuming that on the inside, you know why it looks the same. Maybe I didn't toast it enough, but guess what? It's warm and that's good enough for me. Oh, that is kind of nice toasty. Maybe I could be into Pop-Tarts. I kind of like it. This reminds me of waffles, yeah. That's it, it reminds me of breakfast. 100% <laughs> succeeded, it's exactly this. It tastes exactly the same as it looks on the package. Waffles with a little bit of maple syrup, some butter into it. It is very realistic and here's the crazy thing. It does not taste artificial, bravo. Just a great job. This is the collaboration of the century. This is a collaboration between Old El Paso and Takis which two Mexican fast food icons, you'd think it makes sense, but like, <laughs> the more I think about it, aren't Taki supposed to be blue? That is the only part that I don't understand. This would look so much cooler if this was blue. If it was like the blue Takis, this would be 100% instantly bestseller. So let's see if they succeed. Ooh. I was expecting some broken ones. Wait a minute, this is just looking like Flaming Hot Cheetos color. I swear Takis are not even this color. Wait, they only flavored the outside of the taco shells. The inside, I'm gonna show you. So on the outside, they're super red, like super vibrant. And then on the inside, just yellow. They're like, no, we're not gonna give you double flavor. We're just gonna deconstruct this. Let's try it. Okay, that is so incredible. I got goosebumps. This makes so much sense. This is so much better, controversial opinion. This works better as a taco shell than it does as an actual tacky or even a flaming hot taco shell. This is better. The lime with the spiciness, I don't even wanna talk. I just wanna enjoy this. In the arms of an angel. That's what I'm playing in my head. This is the collaboration that I didn't know I needed, but I needed this in my life. I've recently became aware of this brand here in America called Ghost, and the whole brand revolves around collaborations. When I saw an energy drink that was a collaboration with Sour Patch Kids, and if that wasn't enough, they also make one with Warheads. Warheads is kind of like a sour candy. I remember vaguely Warheads when I was a kid. And I also like that their brand basically just revolves around collaborations. I think that's a really cool concept and I really want to try it. I am very loyal to Monster. Monster is probably my favorite drink. Like if you cut me open, if I pierce myself with like a needle and I squeeze it out, it would just squirt out some Monster energy drink. That's how much I love it. But I'm open to other energy drinks. So the packaging is kind of incredible. It's got like Sour Patch Kids dancing around. It is. Honestly, this is my favorite packaging out of any drink ever. I would have designed exactly this. Oh, not my new jumper. Is it blue? Nope. Oh wait, because it doesn't have any strange food colorings, preservatives. It's supposed to be like a really clean drink. So I guess it's just... The smell of this, that smells like blue raspberry freeze drink. So this is the Warheads watermelon flavor. We're gonna try both. Let's try with the blue raspberry. I'm literally drooling. This is the most delicious drink in the world. <laughs> Wait, it is so sweet, but the sourness, this is so good that I actually have got tears in my eyes. It tastes like my childhood. I don't even know if it tastes like Sour Patch Kids. I, at this point, I don't care. Wow, this is going to be my personality for the next three weeks, make it three months. And this is the Warheads flavor. And I also have a potato chip attached to me. This one is interesting. I would describe this one almost as a salty flavor rather than sour, which is crazy because it's called Warheads. It's a Warheads collaboration. This one, I have never quite had anything like this. This is the best drink in the whole world. This monster does not have a flavor that I like 10% as much as I like this. This is incredible. I should make a video at the end of the year where I give awards to foods and products of the year. This is a great idea. I can't believe I never thought of this. Let me know if you want to watch that. That would be incredible. This one is gonna win the drink for this year. This is truly incredible. Wow. I'm gonna be awake for three days and it's gonna be worth this it. This is the breakfast collaboration that will leave the world speechless. These are Eggos flavored with Fruit Loops. <laughs> they put cereal 
inside your waffles. They were like, guys, we need more ways to ingest cereal. What about a collaboration with Eggos? I mean, it's pretty perfect. This is the perfect branding. I don't know if this is the Fruit Loops logo, right? Yes, because that's the Fruit Loops colors. One, two, three, four. You know what? I'm not gonna start this. I don't know how many colors there are in Fruit Loops. And at this point, I'm too scared to ask. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of Fruit Loops. I feel like it tastes like laundry. So we'll see. So inside, wait, it's a whole bag of waffles. I just realized I've never bought waffles before. This is not what I expected. Wait, this is so weird. Because of the pieces of cereal, it looks like a fungal infection on the waffle. Like, it's got like these blue dots on the waffle. Why do I need a PhD to open my waffles? Peel this tape to reseal. I have no idea what you mean. Like what? Okay, this one is not the best one, but some of them you can really see the blue and it looks weird. I mean, I guess it could be blueberry waffles, but this one specifically with the blue dots, that looks weird. It's like a blue waffle fungal infection situation. It looks like these were made on a Petri dish. So we're gonna cook these. Honestly, I feel like once they cook, they're gonna look pretty damn delicious. According to the instructions, which is just put it in the toaster, I guess. I don't know, this is pointless. And there goes the chance of reselling the package on eBay. So here we got our waffles and it smells like warm laundry. It went from fresh laundry to warm laundry. It smells like Fruit Loops, exactly that smell that I find weird. So this is what they look like. I mean, I know they look kind of undercooked, but listen to this. They're kind of crispy. Do they look more appetizing now? You can still see the little dots, but it's kind of like rainbow-like now, actually. It's very crispy. I kind of like it. And I'm not the biggest fan of Fruit Loops. It's not too sweet even. This would be perfect for some maple syrup. This is not as horrifying as I thought it would be. Generally, I did not expect to like this. I think the fact that it's so light and fluffy and there's not a whole lot of Fruit Loops, but just enough so that it smells like it. And it definitely tastes like it. This is kind of genius. They kind of ate some syrup and I swear, this would be an incredible breakfast. This is a Krispy Kreme Jelly Belly collaboration. This has to be one of the most unexpected ones in the whole video. A bakery, basically, and a jelly bean maker. This would be great as a present if they taste good. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a Jelly Belly. Krispy Kreme collaboration. It features Krispy Kreme most popular donut flavors such as cinnamon apple filled, strawberry iced, original glazed, glazed blueberry cake, and chocolate iced with sprinkles. The one I'm the most excited for, obviously the original glazed. How the hell are you gonna put the flavor of a donut into a jelly bean? We're about to find out. Oh no, I thought it was gonna be inside. Oh, oh no, they were perfectly divided and I ruined it. Oh no. Wait, the packaging is actually genius because it kind of matches. So this is this, this is that one. And wait for it. One of the most exciting things is, wait, you can put the lid on it as well so I can show you. Wait, this is genius. Which flavor do you want to pick? Me when you come into my house and I have to get rid of the food collaborations that I purchased for this video. Like, please, please, I beg you, take one donut flavored jelly bean, please. I love this. This is the most genius packaging I've ever seen. Wait. <gasps> this is so cool. It's like a DIY station. I'm gonna put these on display in my house when you come in so you can have a snack. I honestly love this. This is great. We're gonna start with the cinnamon apple. F you know what? No, I'm gonna start with the one that I like, which is the original glazed. And I just wanna say they glaze the jelly beans. These are glazed jelly beans. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Do you see the shine on it? It looks like a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. <laughs> I don't know if they've done this. Let's give it a try. Does it taste like a donut? No. <laughs> That tastes like Play-Doh. That is the worst flavor of jelly beans I've ever had. Maybe the cinnamon apple? Oh man, this was going too well. It's okay. What I don't like about these, and I'm pretty certain about this, is the fake dough flavor. They created this fake yeasty flavor, I think to kind of replicate freshly baked things, and it just tastes like Play-Doh to me. In my mouth, it reads as Play-Doh. I can see what they were trying to do. They infused every single one of them with it. The original glazed, it's basically just that, and I hate it. So let's try the strawberry ice. I'm guessing strawberry with a yeasty flavor. This one's not as bad, but the aftertaste, mm -mm. And worse than that, it gets stuck to your teeth and really doesn't want to let go. And trust me, I want to let go. This is blueberry cake. And this one is not too bad as well. Overall, I don't like it. Let's try the chocolate ice with sprinkles just for fun. 
These are going to be great gifts. Oh wait, let me remove the half-eaten one. Don't tell anyone. Let's find out which person in my family or my friend's birthday is coming up. The idea, 10 out of 10. The flavor, it's a solid zero. This has to be the wildest collaboration in this whole video. So that brand Ghost that makes energy drinks, they also make protein powder. Specifically, Chips Ahoy flavored protein powder. This is a Ghost Chips Ahoy collaboration. I don't even know what to say. I don't like the flavor of protein shakes. It's honestly something that I just, I don't like it. I cannot eat it. I would rather eat chicken, cheese, whatever protein comes from, over drinking protein because I just find that the flavor of it, it grosses me out. This could be a game changer for people like me. Honestly, the packaging, it's giving. This is really cool. They really nailed packaging. This is my favorite packaging of any brand possibly ever. So inside it comes with a scoop. I was really worried they forgot about the scoop but they didn't even this scoop is like branded this is so cool and this is the protein powder inside which has pieces of chips ahoy listen to this that's chocolate and cookie pieces and we are going to measure a full scoop so this is about right it seems like too much protein powder for this amount of milk are we doing this correctly i don't have a protein shake maker because i'm not in my fitness era currently so i have a coffee milk frother, so I'm gonna use that. I don't know if this is gonna work. Wait, do you see? It's like a milkshake. This is not the texture of a normal. Look at the pieces of Chips Ahoy in it. Okay, we're gonna make this super creamy. I want this to be like a milkshake. Oh, and by the way, they also say you can make this with water as well. Protein shakes can taste like this? <laughs> You know what? I am officially my fitness era. It's got real pieces of Chips Ahoy in it. No, I don't think you guys understand. This is the collaboration that will change the world. And they make other flavors, which we're gonna test out in a future video. But just listen to the crunch of this. I have to give you ASMR. It's like candy. It tastes like milkshake. It tastes like candy. I don't even know what quite to say other than delicious. What else can we make with this? I want to eat it with a spoon. I could even enjoy this with water. Actually, let's not go that far. I'm not that deep into my fitness era. You might be wondering what else is next? Pop-Tart juice? Yeah, pretty much. This is a collaboration between Pop-Tart and Coffee Mate. America's number one creamer. Really? Hmm. This brand makes all kinds of flavors, some of them being collaborations with other brands, this one being the most outrageous one by far. It also says limited time only, like most of the products in this video. And honestly, kind of lucky that I managed to find one of these. Pop-Tart blended into coffee creamer, I'm not sure. I don't know what else is next. What about an Ego flavored Pop-Tart flavored coffee creamer? Oh my god, if these brands start doing three-way collaborations, I'm out. I'm fully out. It's too much for my brain to handle. So we're gonna try it out. I just wanna say, I love the packaging and I love the flavor they went with. They could have gone for like the traditional Pop-Tart flavor, which is strawberry, birthday cake, something like that. But they actually went for brown sugar, which I think is a more popular flavor right now. It's probably the most popular drink at Starbucks right now. The shaken brown sugar espresso thingy. I love that they've done that. They're like, we're collaborating, but we want it to be a success. So I'm gonna prepare a coffee with it and we're gonna see. I don't know. Sometimes I like these drinks, sometimes I don't. It's difficult. I'm gonna use some cold brew. Also, with the amount of energy drinks that I've drank today, I should have used decaf. I'm gonna finish this video with tunnel vision. And to this, we're gonna add our Pop-Tart flavor coffee cream. Wait, let me shake it. It smells artificial and not good, but all these coffee made products, they smell the same. I think it's their base product. I don't wanna say it. Something controversial yet brave. This is straight up plastic trash. <laughs> that's just my opinion. I don't think these products are good for you, but that's just my health conspiracy. So we're gonna add the Pop-Tart flavor in. That's kind of perfect. Mix it a little bit. Let's try it. I kind of expecting like a Starbucks flavor. Why am I drinking like this? This is so weird. I look like a toddler who just woke up from a really thirsty nap. The flavor is not flavoring. Maybe now. 
It's no artificial tasting. It kind of tastes like a Starbucks drink. Maybe not the best quality Starbucks drink. It kind of tastes like if you went to the lowest rating Starbucks in your area and you ordered a brown sugar latte. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. If you set your expectations really low, you will probably enjoy this collaboration. I didn't lie when I told you guys that this brand Ghost has the most insane collaborations. This one will leave you speechless. This is a Ghost collaboration with Sour Patch Kids, kind of like similar to the energy drink, except these are supplements. These are specifically BCAA amino acids. This is the moment where I think America is no real country. This is a Sour Patch Kids flavored vitamins. Why not? I mean, why not? Honestly, I love this flavor on the energy drink. I think this is insane. Okay, let's see what this is for. Ghost BCAA was conceived to sustain greatness at any hour. So this is a powder that is basically just vitamins, just something to help you feel better. It also comes with a scoop. So this is the powder. It's really similar, the packaging to the energy drink. Please tell me it's gonna go blue or something. Oh, it is? Wait, is it gonna go blue? That was very satisfying. Okay, now tell me why they make their vitamins blue but not their energy drinks. It's giving waves, it's giving Hawaii, it's giving dish soap. <laughs> I love that, that was really cool. And it blends really well. This blends better than protein powder. So this is a glass of vitamins with flavor. That is the most insane, delicious flavor ever, possibly better than the energy drink. What do they put in this? Is there sugar? What is it? This is so crazy, insane, delicious that I've never had anything like this. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have had that before bed after so many energy drinks. Oh, that was so good. What do they put in this? Oh, that's a lot of medications that I don't know if I should be having. Does anyone know what instant leucine is? Isoleucine? Valine? Wow, this is insane. I don't take vitamins without knowing what's in it, please. Just don't do what I've done. So we'll find out. I'll keep you updated. If there's another video, it's a good sign. At this point, that's all we could ask for. The flavor of this. Still want that little bit left. This is a collaboration between Tic Tac and Coca-Cola. I am as confused. However, it looks cool. I love the packaging. It's kind of like a bottle of Coca-Cola and then you can see the Tic Tacs in it. I kind of wish they were red inside, not white. Interesting. It's also a limited edition. I am pretty certain that this one is already worth a lot of money. I could be wrong. I don't know what the date of this is, but the longer time it goes, the more they sell for on eBay. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm not crazy about Tic Tacs in general. I I think the last time I ate a Tic Tac, I was probably 12 years old and I remember it being bright orange. So we're gonna open it. Wait, cause this packaging is actually really cool. It's kind of like a miniature dispenser. Is this what Tic Tacs are sold like? I have no idea. It's like a mini trash thingy. So it says press here. Why should I press here? It doesn't smell like much. Kind of smells like just standard sugar candy. Wait, it's got tiny little Coca-Cola logos on it. Okay, so some of them say Coke and some of them say Coca-Cola in it. And some of them have like the Coca-Cola bottle on it. This is really cool. I'm gonna try to show you, but I shake 24 Seven. I'm probably gonna have whatever is that thing when old people shake a lot. I think it's certain that I'm gonna have it. Like, I think my grandpa has it, so fun. <laughs> let me enjoy the Tic Tacs while I can. Just took a depressive turn real quick. Okay, let me try one of them. What even is a Tic Tac? Do you just lick it? Okay, it kind of tastes like Coca-Cola. It's not crazy, but it's actually pretty good. I kind of get cinnamon in it as well. I like these. Oh my god, yo. Now my dog eating Tic Tacs tomorrow. I think they look really cool. I kind of like the whole white and red. I didn't like it in the beginning. I just don't think there's anything special about these. It's just sugar with a slight hint of Coca-Cola. If you like Tic Tacs, you'd probably like this. But if you don't, you probably would be as excited as I am, which is not much. And how the hell am I gonna put these back in here? Should have thought about this before. So Smart Food is like a brand that does mostly popcorn. Could be wrong about this, but I think it's generally a healthy brand. So when I saw that their holiday limited edition collaboration was with Captain Crunch. <laughs> Specifically Crunch Berries. This is a popcorn cereal collaboration? I don't even understand what the product is. Is it cereal? Is it popcorn? I honestly don't know because on here it says Mary Berry Popcorn Mix. Okay, great, it's popcorn. But wait, they're eating it in a bowl of cereal? This, I think, is an example of a terrible collaboration. This product, like, you guys don't even know what you've made. 
I guess it's our job to do it. This is also a limited holiday edition. It's expiring this month, which means this is probably gonna be expensive very soon. Wait a minute. I expected this, the crunchy berries, and inside, it's popcorn mixed with cereal. This is not a collaboration. You just combine leftovers from both of your products. I really thought the popcorn was gonna be coated or these were gonna be like popcorn on the inside. It's just cereal. That is literally breakfast cereal, Captain Crunch and Sweet popcorn. My disappointment is immeasurable. And by the way, this doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, let's see if this tastes good together at least. Let me grab a few of each. This is so stupid. I hate that I like it. It kind of goes together. <laughs> In a very confusing way though. This like berries, popcorn, the textures are not perfectly matching. So it literally tastes like you live with a child and they're like making pretend foods with random ingredients in the house. And they're like, mom, I made you a snack. Mom, I made you cereal. Do you like it? Except imagine the child was really good at marketing. Imagine how tired I am. I hope this gives you guys a glimpse of what it's like to walk down the supermarkets here in America and seeing these random food collaborations on the daily that just make me stop and think, who asked for this? But most importantly, why do I wanna buy it? So if you like this, don't forget to give this video a like. I would love to do a part two to this just because you guys know me, these are the kind of things that I love. So I would love to do it. Don't forget to subscribe, switch my notifications on before you go so you don't miss out on future videos. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.